Good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Kong. Thank you for coming to this Lunch and Learn session. Uh, I I'm a software engineer at IDM, and I work on a number of uh, dashboard projects and uh, health applications. Today, we are going to talk about an application called ECV8. Can I see a show of hands for uh, anyone use ECV8 before? <laughs> oh, we have one, two. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's okay. Uh, if not, that's okay. We are going to learn more about it today. Uh, we will also have a few live demos and it should be fun. All right, so what is ECV8? ECV8 is a web-based tool designed to help streamline the process of uh, certifying uh, cost of death. Uh, key features in ECV8 include um, Physician Certified Verbal Autopsy, PCVA. So, uh, so basically, it's, uh, we have uh, uh, physicians that look at questionnaire and then they decide what is the cause of death. Uh, another uh, key feature is uh, using a computer-coded uh, verbal autopsy, CCVA, to uh, automate the process of determining the cause of death uh, using a few algorithms. Uh, in ECVA, we support uh, free uh, algorithm, uh, software packages, uh, they are Inter V8, In Silico V8, and uh, Smart V8. So what's new uh, in ECV8? Uh, open source, it's about open source availability. ECV8 is going to open source very soon. We're talking about days. Uh, so this allows for border accessibility and collaboration. Uh, with with that, uh, for partner installation, partners can independently install and manage their application. Um, the periods uh, in currently in uh, we also replace the identity and access management in ECV8. We we replace it with an open source solution called Keycoke, improving security and flexibility. User can also change to use uh, other um, IAM as well. Uh, software prerequisite to install uh, ECV8. So, um, uh, can I have a show of hands to see who has installed GitHub or Get Get on their computer? No, nope. we have a few. That's good. Uh, so, what is uh, Get uh, or GitHub Desktop? So, it uh, actually installs Get, and uh, it also provides a GUI for downloading source and uh, source repository. It allows users to share and collaborate on code projects. The second one, the second uh, prerequisite is a Docker desktop. A Docker desktop is a tool for building and running Docker images. ECV8 is designed to run using Docker containers. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about building and running uh, ECV8 application. So, uh, so the first step is to download the source code from uh, GitHub. So once we open source it, uh, so this will be the link for ECV8. So the first step is to do a get con to download all the sources needed for ECV8 into a server or your local computer. And then we start the build process, which is like using Docker Compose. And then um, at the end, there's a parameter called build. So that will uh, start building, uh, uh, building the images uh, used by ECV8. So in this process, it will take roughly about uh, 10 minutes, yeah, depending on your, your, uh, your internet speed. Uh